Welcome to Animated Book Summaries, and today's episode is going to be about Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret. If you do watch this video to the very end, then you will have learned how two people with the exact same amount of skills can earn two totally different incomes. One can make millions of dollars, another person could make a very average salary. Why some people shoot to the top of a company's ladder. Why some people live happy, productive lives, while people of identical upbringings and education stumble from failure to failure. Why some seem to achieve goals almost effortlessly, and others fail just to stay on track. Why some marriages flourish, and others fail quite early. So, without further ado, let's get started. The definition of success. Out of 100 people, only 5 make the grade. When we talk about a 5% achieved success, we have to define what is success. And here's the definition. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. The opposite of courage in our society is not cowardice. It is conformity. Conformity. People acting like everyone else, without knowing why, without knowing where they're going. Instead of competing, all we have to do is create. On the topic of goals, selling is the world's highest paid profession, if we're good at it and we know where we're going. We become what we think about. Here's a few quotes about goals. A man's life is what his thoughts make of it. Marcus Aurelius. Everything comes if a man will only wait. I have brought myself by long meditation to the conviction that a human being with a settled purpose must accomplish it, and that nothing can resist a will that will stake even existence for its fulfillment. The Israeli A man is what he thinks about all day long. Ralph Waldo Emerson The greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. William James our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we often might win by fearing to attempt. William Shakespeare Now it stands to reason that a person who is thinking about a concrete and worthwhile goal is going to reach it, because that's what he thinks about, and we become what we think about. Conversely, the man who has no goal, who doesn't know where he is going, and whose thoughts of confusion and anxiety and fear and worry become what he thinks about all day. His life becomes one frustration, fear, anxiety, worry. And if he thinks about nothing, he becomes nothing. As you sow, so shall you reap. You see, the human mind is the last great unexplored continent on the earth. It contains riches beyond our wildest dreams. Familiarity breeds contempt. It can do any kind of job we assign to it, but generally speaking, we use it for little jobs instead of big, important ones. We are operating on about 10% of our ability. You want to be an outstanding salesman, a better worker at your particular job, you want to go places in your company, in your community, all you've got to do is plant that seed in your mind, care for it, work steadily towards your goal, and it will become a reality. It not only will, there's no way that it cannot. Think about your goal in a relaxed, positive way. Picture yourself in your mind as having already achieved this goal. See yourself doing the things you will be doing when you have achieved your goal. Every one of us is the sum total of his own strengths and his own thoughts. He is where he is because that is exactly where he really wants to be, whether he'll admit it or not. Each of us must live off the fruit of his thoughts and the future. Because what do you think today and tomorrow, next month, next year, will mold your life and determine your future? You're guided by your mind. Are you going to keep both hands firmly on the wheel and control and direct its power to a specific, worthwhile purpose? It's up to you. You're in the driver's seat. We must control our thinking. The same rule that can lead a man to a life of success, wealth, happiness, and all the things he's ever dreamed of for himself and his family, the very same law can lead him into gutter. It's all in how he uses it, for good or for bad. Here is a 30-day action plan, a 30-day challenge, if you will. We literally become what we think about, so we must control our thoughts if we're to control our lives. It's understanding fully that as you sow, so shall you reap. 
Secondly, it's cutting away all the feathers from the mind and permitting it to soar, as it was divinely designed to do. It's a realization that your limitations are self-imposed and that the opportunities for you today are, in, are enormous, beyond the belief. It's rising above narrow-minded pettiness and prejudice. Thirdly, to use all your courage to force yourself to think positively on your own problem, to set a definite and clearly defined goal for yourself, to let your marvelous mind think about your goal from all possible angles, to let your imagination speculate freely upon many different possible solutions, to refuse to believe there are any circumstances sufficiently strong to defeat you in the accomplishment of your purpose. To act promptly and decisively when your course is clear, and to keep constantly aware of the fact that you are, at this moment, standing in the middle of your own acre of diamonds. Ideas are worthless unless we act on them. It's easier for a human being to think negatively than positively. That's why only 5% are successful. Positive Outlook Give of yourself more than you've ever done before. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Act as though it were impossible to fail. Persistence is simply another word for faith. If you didn't have faith, you would never persist. The only way to earn money is by providing people with services or products which are needed and useful. If he wants more, he must be of more service to those from whom he receives and returns. If he wants less, he has only to reduce his service. This is the price you must pay for what you want. An outstanding medical doctor recently pointed out six steps that will help you realize success. 1. Set yourself a definite goal. 2. Quit running yourself down. 3. Stop thinking of all the reasons why you cannot be successful and instead think of all the reasons why you can. 4. Trace your attitudes back through your childhood and try to discover where you first got the idea you couldn't be successful. 5. Change the image you have of yourself by writing out a description of the person you would like to be. And finally, number six, act the part of the successful person you have decided to become. If you've enjoyed this animated summary of Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret, please subscribe to this channel as I always update and about once a week there will be new videos. This is a lot of information to take in, so I highly suggest that you rewind this video and listen once again. If I was speaking too quickly, you can turn the speed down, but I highly recommend listening to this video at least once a day.